China's presence in Africa continues to grow. But despite the positive economic and political effects, there are problems. Elephant poaching has grown dramatically across sub-Saharan Africa. Much of the ivory lands up in Asia. It's a mainly a Chinese problem. If you don't solve the Chinese demand for ivory, we're sort of wasting our time. There are over a million Chinese expatriates in Africa, and they're scattered all over the continent, and they're buying 95, 98 percent from these open markets. Conservation groups Save the Elephant and the Espinel Foundation have just published a new report. It reveals the wholesale price of raw elephant tusks has tripled in the four years since 2010. Wealth is driving demand. Chinese have had a long tradition in carving ivory for thousands of years, um, especially today with the increase in wealth in the country, more and more Chinese now can afford it. The report shows that the number of elephant ivory items on sale in Beijing and Shanghai has increased from just over 5,000 in 2002 to almost 8,500 in 2014. Most of it is going on behind the scenes with illegal ivory coming in in its raw form from African countries, especially uh, Nigeria, Angola, Sudan, um, Ethiopia, and Egypt. Um, Mozambique is a growing problem. Africa is paying a high price. Experts say wildlife poaching is harming tourism, a major earner of foreign exchange in some countries.